Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 3, Episode 4, Thoughts. This episode is called Devils You Know. Another episode I love, spoilers for everything MCU leading up to and including this episode. No spoilers in this video for anything that came out after this episode first premiered. The top link in the description box will enable you to donate to the site after strikers. And then there's some links to videos to help explain why this is such an important strike. So, let's dive into the episode. So, yeah. I quite like that one of the two Inhumans manages to, to get out the line, there's nothing worse than dry chicken like a minute or two before experiencing something that's substantially worse. So nice bit of foreshadowing, I guess it counts as foreshadowing. And yeah, um, Alicia comes in and you know the the yeah she's like we we have to you know i'm i'm gathering a team of the ones who had turned before recently and then comes the terrifying question did you send that email and no no she didn't so yeah very very nicely done there and uh, yeah you know I guess I can start calling him Lash now. I, I had a feeling that was... Because I did see that name appear in the, the credits of some of these episodes. And I... Yeah. Um, but yes, Lash comes and, and kills her. And it turns out that was one of Alicia's clones. And she is working for S.H.I.E.L.D. Very nicely done. Because when she just walked in the door, I thought that she was, you know, working, yeah, I, I hadn't guessed that she was working for, for S.H.I.E.L.D., but, yeah, makes a lot of sense to send an Inhuman in to, to recruit other Inhumans rather than sending in S.H.I.E.L.D., and, yeah, we get the, the line, he's killing us and you can't stop him. So, yeah, very, yeah, really, really heightens the, the tension. <laughs> Mac makes a reference to Jaws saying, you know, I, I bet that movie came out like 20 years before you were born, which, I mean, she, it's more like 10 years. I, let's see, Jaws is like, oh, 75. Okay, so it's like 13 years. But, yeah, that is a, uh, and... Yeah, so the ATCU and S.H.I.E.L.D. are working together, which, of course, some of the S.H.I.E.L.D. agents have issues with, and um, yeah, um, let's see, then we have the, yeah, they, they find out, you know, the, the email, you know, included a virus, so the the you know making it easier for Lash to to get to the two Inhumans, and let's see, yeah, good good session between Garner and Simmons. You know the the just the the detail of strawberries taste bitter now not sweet you know the the that's a really good way of expressing yeah she's really fundamentally changed you know uh, you know the yeah if if you live in the west you've probably had a strawberry or something that was made to taste like strawberry so yeah and Let's see them. Um, that was about. Yeah, and uh, I like how Fitz is like annoying the crap out of Bobby because, you know, it, B means bloom, which means biological, you know, it's, and it is the kind of thing, you know, he's used to working with Simmons, they have a system. The, the you know so so yeah very very nicely done with that and 
Simmons finds Fitz looking at the uh, the the st stuff she's studying and the the uh, what's it called the um yeah you know Simmons thinks that Bobby told Fitz and and you know yeah she's she's really struggling to open up to other people about wanting to go back and yeah when you know, can we talk that's what we're doing I love lines like that because it's you know you don't mean talk you mean talk somewhere in private you are talking you are both of you talking right now and I, I quite like the line, so the killer has an IT guy? Which, I mean, fair enough. Everybody has to these days. And, yeah, they, they point out this thing, you know, why didn't the ATCU point out about the, the IT guy? And then we have the... Yeah, you know, uh, uh, Daisy tries to approach him, and he screams, Get out, nope, and us. Which is a perfectly fine way to rank Jordan Peele movies. And yeah, he tells us, the, you know, the, the big guy is Lash. And IT guy and Lash both believe that what Lash is doing is right. And this is, of course, I mean, it's basically eugenics. You know, it's this idea that a certain group of people, because of an inborn quality, you know, that they have to be eliminated, you know. And, and sometimes that does come from people who are in that group themselves, you know, and... Again, you know, if the Inhumans are this stand-in for the LGBTQ plus community, um, among others, yeah, there are sadly uh, some some individuals within that community. Not the not the community on the on the whole, but there are some individuals within that community that you know say fairly eugenicist things about other members of, uh, uh, yeah, ab about the community in, in general. You know, you do have some, you know, people who have transitioned who say that others shouldn't be able to transition. Now, let's see. And, and you know, some, sometimes they don't go as far as that, but say, oh, you know, if you're not of age yet, you shouldn't be allowed to transition. Blowing completely out of proportion what underage people are actually even legally allowed to, like, you know, do doctors are not out there cu cutting body parts off underage kids, you know, as, as soon as they walk through the door. There's a, there's a process, and, you know, there, there are YouTubers who can explain this, this much better than, than I can, but it's blown way out of proportion by conservatives, but Again, this is an episode that is much more relevant today than in 2015 when it first aired. So, yeah, you know, sadly it is something that has been going on for, for a very long time. And, let's see, yeah, you know, Bobby t t talks to, to Gemma and says, you know, have you, have you told others that you have to go back? like Kate, for example. And, yeah, very cool when Lash and Daisy fight. I quite like, you know, Mac, like, slugs Lash right in the face, and it's like, this usually works, you know? It's not very common that we see Mac punch someone right in the face and for them to not even flinch. Like, it, it does nothing. So, you know, the, the show is really making clear, you know, Lincoln, you know, even, even Lincoln and Daisy together are not enough to, to do serious damage to, to Lash. 
you know, Mac punch him in the face, not enough. The just a lot of really powerful individuals are not enough. So it is a very real threat. And we see the we yeah the the shadow of Lash turns back into a more regular human looking and you know as a fan of, of horror classics I love that they did it with shadow because they could have done it like out of focus or something they could have had oh Daisy hit her head so hard she can see Lash but it's out of focus and he turns back and and you see a silhouette of a regular looking human but no they specifically did it with shadow which yeah big big props big yeah really love that choice and yeah you know as she points out after yeah that makes a lot of sense that's how he's able to appear and disappear nobody knows what he looks like so he can just walk you know yeah and the yeah we, you know Coulson did not tell Bobby about the mission you know he didn't want Bobby to you know try to get to be part of the mission because it's it's Lance out there and you know earlier in the episode Lance also said I need to stop before Bobby returns to the field you know he knows that she's going to insist on hunting down Ward if he isn't dead before she's done with rehab and he's really worried that she's going to, to end up dead and really love the entire last chunk of, of the episode just Grant and Lance actually come face to face like it we weren't sure if it was gonna happen this soon but you know the show doesn't tend to waste your time it gets to the stuff that you know they know we want to see pretty quickly so yeah the the you know the, so this is Richie my name's not Richie and you know right before he he reveals that he you know he check oh okay there's a there's a submachine gun right there on the you know and he knows it works because he was the one who brought it there, you know. So, yeah, just very, very nicely done. And holy crap, those just... The words they exchange, you know, the... the let's see... I th okay, somehow no one actually added it to the episode's memorable quote section but okay um you know so so yeah they bring up the the thing about you know shooting yeah that he got bobby shot that you know he he shot his you know th there's the thing about you know yeah lance taunts him by pointing out that grant accidentally shot his own girlfriend to death you know so yeah, these these kinds of things just holy crap. They you know, they're really not messing around. They're not the the kids the kid gloves have come off. The gauntlet has been thrown. They did they didn't even have to put on the gauntlet. They just they took off the kid gloves, picked up the gauntlet, threw it, and the yeah. You know, when he realizes M Melinda is there, which of course he had a plan for. Of course he was thinking because, yeah, Melinda's still alive, she wants him dead, it's just a matter of time, and that's why Werner, Von Strucker, not Brown, you know, got close to, to Garner. And I really appreciate, because that was, like, I, I did not expect a payoff on that so soon. That was the post credit scene of the episode before the, or... Yeah, post credits. It was. It was definitely. It was in the episode before this one, and we're already gaining the payoff. And and yeah, you know, Garner, he's not technically a government agent, so he doesn't have. He doesn't travel around with a bunch of 
armed guys, and he himself doesn't have, you know, military training or a gun on him or anything, so yeah, Werner can just walk up to him, and, you know, they've got the, the, the canisters of, of gasoline, which were also, you know, pointed out earlier in, yeah, earlier in this episode, and, yeah, you know, Ward is going to have Garner killed just to hurt Melinda May and, and just to to keep her from attacking. And, you know, Hunter's like, I just got him all these weapons. I have to stop him. And Melinda actually, you know, she, she goes with once Lance does, but she wasn't going to. She really wanted to... to save Garner, and, and it makes a ton of sense. And that's also, that's definitely going to be an issue that, you know, Hunter didn't actually stop Grant, but Garner is dead. And, let's see... Yeah, very cool escape for for Grant, you know, Kibo, who I, I just realized I haven't really... Total, fantastic physical presence for for Kibo. Really glad that 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 he's been. You know, I actually at first I thought that was him getting beaten to death by Werner, but you know, yeah. Think, thinking back to it, no, that was a, a different guy. But yeah, really, really cool to see him and. Yeah, you know, yeah. He throws a, a chair out the window, through the window, and the, you know, he he jumps into the car. Grant jumps, but he does take a, a bullet to the shoulder, which may mean he can't be an adventurer anymore. And we see the the big explosion, and yeah, um, the post credit scene. Simmons is going to tell Fitz. You know, Fitz, Fitz realized she must be trying to reconstruct the portal, and she says she's going to tell him everything. And the next episode is 4,722 hours. I have not watched it yet, but when I researched this, episode, this show, I saw a lot of people pointing to that as one of the best episodes. So, yeah really at, at the very least of this season and I think of the the show in 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 general so so yeah really looking forward to, to seeing that I like that the the two uh, inhumans we meet in the first scene like they get the kind of introduction that you know yeah they could easily have been in the rest of the show like their introduction you know like um so yeah, they ended up not being on the on the I guess flashbacks or something. But then the, compared to to um, cannot believe I'm blanking on his name. Um, the um, uh, yeah the the um, from the from the pilot who has a who has a son. Um, sorry, it's the ADHD acting up. Um, yeah, you know, he ended up being a lot on the show, which is great. He's an awesome character, an awesome actor. Yeah, like, if before this episode, if I had just seen, oh, you know, if I had just seen the, the couple of, the, the brief introduction to, yeah, they might have been on the show for, for much longer. That's some, you know, the, the show's good at giving people who don't end up being on the show for very long, you know, yeah, giving them a compelling introduction. So, the right, um, yeah. There's a there's a character in this episode called Dwight Fry. I think that's the IT guy, and that's the same name as the actor. There's an actor called Dwight Fry, played Renfield in the 1931 Dracula, and he is kind of the Renfield. So, yeah, very nicely done. And Dr. Garner is attacked by Hydra agents in Aaron's market. Aaron Gurton worked in the art department for this episode. And let's see, I th 
think that might be about Yeah, um, I like Rosalind Price saying, that's classified to Coulson, and then saying, oh, it's not fun when it's you, right? Can't believe I just said that to the director of S.H.I.E.L.D. And <laughs> Coulson saying to, to Daisy, I think the conspiracy nut in you had a few too many lattes this morning, which, you know, it's not like she's never gotten kind of conspiratorial in in her theories and I think that might be about yeah and the th you know it's a means to an end ours or theirs do you really have a laser finger sorry it's classified 